so I've uh, I bought these off of Amazon one time and I, I think I have a video for this whole system and it works great um, but I found some better ones they're all brass and they actually screw into PVC and you can buy the adapters and everything on the same website um, what happens with these is uh, right here at the right where these connect after the a while in the Sun maybe maybe a month two months uh, they start breaking and leaking out here so if you don't watch it's just cause you got to use these bottles it's just like that because it leaks out within a day um, not to mention that the hose you know gets all nasty and gets this tree sap and all that other stuff all over it um, does I don't really see a lot of algae in it most of this is the outside um, just discolored from the you know like I said the sap and the sand and everything that comes off these trees and stuff but just that looks nasty right so uh, what we're gonna do is I bought two of those uh, brass nipples I think it's rabbitnipples.com so what a website name but they sell all the stuff for pigs chickens they got big ones and everything um, so but I bought those we're gonna come out of the same hole um, come down here with some PVC and then straight over so I'm probably gonna just come over some and then come back in uh, so that it'll, it'll the door will still open so that's what we're gonna do is come down from here um, it's gonna I thought about getting some flexible half inch um, just to make it easier to come around the corner here and then um, that way I could come all the way down below the door and then back up a little bit but I'm just gonna see what I have and how it works with the door here uh, I could always just cut the door down just a touch right there where the where the uh, pipe is so we're gonna do that and then we'll we'll see and this will be a permanent fixture then um, just put a cap on here to keep the water clean um, it'll add another you know quarter of a gallon or so it's only gonna be half inch pipe but it'll be you know almost eight foot long again so it'll add a little bit more water as well and uh, just come off of there like that right now see they're thirsty because I guess I didn't have this filled and uh, it, these were these were empty I filled them up last night um, came out here again today and they're already empty so they must have a vacuum leak somewhere in them and they're uh, they went down so poor rabbits were without water for a few hours today so gonna get that fixed so we don't have to worry about it anymore I don't have any more elbows, but I do have this. It was for the uh, garden water for the uh, shutoff valves to screw into. Um, so I'm just gonna plug it with this and use this as the elbow. Hey, it's a, it's a washout too. In case we get dirt in there, we can rinse it out and use it to flush the system. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I thought of. Hopefully I won't have to glue this stuff um, because there's no pressure really, just, you know, gravity. So I shouldn't have to glue it if it fits tightly, but we will see. If I do, uh, 
it's easier to push together with the glue anyway. So, guess I should screw my little things on there first, huh? Might be easier than doing it later. See, these are their nice ones. They're all brass. Um, has the little uh, threaded pieces. And these little couplers were only like 90 cents or something. So I just bought everything from the same place to save having to drill and tap a hole or anything like that. These little eighth inch um, threaded area, threaded couplers or threaded tees already came with it. So I thought you can't beat that. I'll put this guy right here. It's nice to keep the um, water bottles as backup. Um, you can, you know, look down there. Uh, we'll have to get new ones or fix their tips um, because they are leaking now. But um, if you have those, you know, and they prefer to drink out of this, at least you'll have something as backup in case it goes empty. Everything's tight. Let me fill it up. Well, I don't see any leak, and you can get some water out of it. There you go. Okay, well, there it is. Like I said, um, I'll come back tomorrow and check it to make sure that everything... I'll let it dry. Hopefully it won't rain tonight. And um, make sure there's no leaks. I don't see anywhere any around here, um, so that's a good sign. And then... Um, oh, there was a drip. Where's that coming from? That could be just from the hose when I pulled it out. So like I said, I'm going to let it dry out. Um, get everything on here and then I'll check for leaks everywhere and if I need to I'll put a washer up here or some uh, glue in the joints that are leaking but uh, so far I don't really see anything so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit with some pressure on it and let that go um, otherwise this will be more of a permanent fix and hopefully they won't run out of water all right another project done that's two for this weekend so anyway as always thanks for watching have a great weekend and uh, get outside do something and we'll catch you in the next video